Okay, on the boat today, and we are going to be getting all of this top ready for paint. So our paint has now arrived. It's the Alex Seal paint. It's jet black, and then we've got a primer as well. So what we need to do is first of all give this a nice clean because this has been stood like this for several months. And then what we'll do is we need to just make sure that all of our little corners and edges that we're going to be masking to are 100% sanded and ready for our primer coat. And the plan is at the moment is to get that primer coat on and the jet black next week. We're heading into some finer weather next week, so that should work out well for us. But first job actually, just to, just to make this absolutely 100% safe, is just to make a temporary hatch to go in here. So our temporary hatch is in place, just got a couple of holes there just so we can lift it up if we need to, but that just makes this area nice and safe now we can move around without worry, worrying about falling into that engine bay. Also just put a piece of cardboard here just to protect this transom because we'll need to stand on here to reach some of these areas up here. So what we'll do now is give this all a nice clean. Okay, that was a bit of a pain, so no problem cleaning the top. It was absolutely filthy, but that was no problem at all. What was a problem was the masking tape that we'd mistakenly left on here for several months and the adhesive did not want to let go. So tried acetone and that did remove it, but it was a bit painful. And in the end, we used the sticky stuff remover and that did give us good results. But uh, yeah, it's taken us a long time to get this cleaned up, but that's all done now, which is all good. And we've also just cleaned up these channels again. Um, you'll notice that the glass here on this bottom molding is really tight to the glass. We can really struggling to get anything in here. It does open up a little bit as you go further along. So I think what we will do is probably just get a, like a cotton bud or something with a bit of acetone and just so we can clean in there a little bit more. We want to get that as clean as we possibly can. Um, but in terms of actually painting, we just need to be able to get the paint up and over this radius here. And then after that, it'll be sealed in. So you'll never see inside there but obviously we want a nice clean job in there for the adhesive and the other thing that we did is we also just did let me change the zoom on the camera we did a quick repair up here as well just a little bit of filling with the um, crestafix uh, polyfair 
just a little uh, we've got like a crack there or maybe it was unfinished from the factory but ground that out and filled that so that can be sanded now so that will also be all good so i think next what we'll do is we'll get this screen masked off so when we're sanding we don't touch it with the sandpaper So here we're using the sear abrasives 120 grit sandpaper to sand the gel coat one final time to ensure no pits or shiny spots and that the surface is 100% keyed ready for the primer coat. We are now fully sanded, so we first of all just came in with a masking tape and just masked down where uh, roughly where our paint lines are going to be. This is not the final masking, this was just so that when we were sanding we didn't go over our paint line and it's also given us an opportunity to work out exactly where that paint line is going to run because it's a bit sort of intricate here uh, and then it also runs down the back here so this is a there's a cover here so this will all get covered so the black will come down nicely and then we think we're hoping to have some uh, padded ceilings anyway so this will all get covered so that should work out well and then here uh, basically there'll be canopy tracks here so that will cloak that paint line and the same deal down the back here as well so we should get a nice seamless transition we've also got the uh, gel coat to consider at a later point so this was pretty much how we got it when we bought the boat so we don't think this top deck was or top molding rather was finished correctly uh, or finished fully so we'll be able to gel coat this and polish that and that will be perfect as well and then we've also masked around the windscreen and gone once more around here on all over the top here and that has worked out really nicely so what we need to do now is just give this all a clean down and hoover just get rid of all of the dust and then we have just got a few little imperfections that we've noticed as we've gone round really minor stuff uh, we've got a little chip on the inside here we've got a couple of holes on the back there and i think we spotted something over on this molding on one of these corners just a little chip so minor little blemishes that we just need to fill in and sand Okay, working back on this top moulding today, so we've left the filler to set up, we had a, a chip here and then we've got some little imperfections down here, pinholes and little bits down the bottom there and in the end we also decided to fill all of the holes going across the, the top here that we fixed the canopy track to, so we'll fit a new track with fresh holes and there's also a little bit down here so we need to get all of that sanded and then once that's sanded we'll give everything a clean and then we are masking up then for primer
we are finally masked up, ready for paint. That took four hours to mask this up. We thought it was gonna take probably two max. But yeah, four hours, but it's all done. Quite a big area, and quite a complicated shape. So uh, yeah, I guess it was always gonna take a little bit longer than we thought maybe, but that is fine. We've got our fan in place. So we've got an extract fan down here, and then we're gonna have two fans over on the front deck here, blowing fresh air in. We've got our 3M respirators. So all we need to do now is mix up some primer. We're gonna be rolling this primer on, and this is our first time. So it uh, be interesting to see how this goes. So uh, yeah, let's get some primer mixed up. Oh no, it's full of balls. Balls. I thought you were going to say it's the wrong colour. Oh, no, I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. Stinky. Pink. Stinky. Look at that. Epoxy primer reducer. Wow. We've just been up onto the boat and used the wipe down solvent and given everything just a final wipe down so that should all be nice and clean now. We've got all of our brushes and rollers all ready to go, gloves and Richard is just mixing up some primer. Okay, here we're rolling out the Alex Seal 442 finish primer using the Anza 4 inch felt rollers. The primer is mixed at a 1 to 1 ratio with the 442 converter and then we add a 20% reducer. The primer when mixed is quite thin so we're being careful not to load the roller too much and make sure we spread the first coat out as much as possible. The second and third coats will allow us to build up the primer further. Alrighty guys, so we're back on the boat this morning. We finished painting last night about half past five. So it was getting dark and cool, so we didn't do another coat. We've left it overnight to set up and actually it's quite nice and warm in here this morning. Sun's definitely helping with that. So uh, let's have a look how this set up. So actually not bad at all. I think for first attempt, Pretty happy with that. Nice smooth finish. It's textured, but it is a nice finish. A um, few little blemishes here and there, but overall, pretty good. The, the paint itself, or the primer itself, is, is really thin. So initially, we sort of struggled with it a little bit. I uh, had to make sure that when we loaded the, the roller, we had to then unload it again. Basically, get 80-90% of the primer off the roller and then roll it out but actually the coverage was pretty good but you have to work fast because it tacks up really quickly so probably within we were finding probably half a minute it would then tack up so you couldn't go back over it so yeah you have to work sort of quite quickly and quite methodically but actually if you get it right the the results are really good as I say we did we did make a few mistakes I think that was inevitable first time out but overall, 
it's pretty good. I think the areas where we really struggled was this channel. Um, just getting it into this internal radius here and then up over here. In fact, you can see here, look, if you look really carefully, it's just a tiny little sag or drip there. But I mean, it's really minor stuff and it will sand out. So that's absolutely fine. So what we're going to do is just warm the boat up a little bit or warm up inside here. We've got the heater running. You can possibly hear it. So we're just going to let it warm up for probably half an hour. It's quite cool overnight, six, seven degrees, and we really need around 15 degrees to be working with the Alex Seal paint. So we'll get it warmed up, we'll get some more paint mixed, and we'll get some more primer on. Okay, that's going to be a wrap for today's video guys hope you enjoyed today's video if you did give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one